I love how makeshift bridges just make a river defensive line just disappear. I've never used them before. First time. But this is a completely and utterly ridiculous general, so I'm not that surprised. Level 7 now. Getting a bunch of overruns just because we're 10% faster than regular infantry. And they just can't resist us. I mean, we have 900 soft attack. 900! Ouch! And I have now killed more Ukrainians than any of the others. 250,000 and still... <laughs> I've been at war with them, what, a week? <laughs> 79 percent participation. That's what I was hoping to see. And also, this is a hell of a cutoff that we've just achieved. Mr. Rico's capitulated. <laughs> we're even winning! 29 divisions against 4, and we're winning. Pushed them back. Our soft attack is that ridiculous. Now I can understand how Prussian was doing it with his um, light SPGs. That's crazy. Very interesting. When you get your templates in general just right, it's devastating. Yeah. <laughs> you can say that again. So many people want a non-aggression pact with me suddenly. I couldn't imagine why. Right, new national focus. U-boat operations. In order to ensure that we can effectively destroy enemy shipping routes and strike at unprepared enemy ships, we must begin the construction of U-boats. Eighty-three percent participation. We haven't even lost a thousand men yet. We've killed four hundred and thirteen thousand. For a little while, I was concerned about the Third International. I'm not that concerned about the Third International. These these aren't even my breakthrough units. These are, and they're not even in the fight. their hardness and armor. 28% hardness, 52% armor. Okay. You think the world is just a bit scared of us? They should be if they're not. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're just sweeping around the top and then hitting the south. Um, I think I'd rather... Well, you're going for Kiev first. Yeah, that's okay. Take out Kiev. I love that we have them on the run here with just six divisions. Tsardom restored. The Russian Republic created in the last years before the World Krieg appears to have lasted only 20 years before its end. Plagued by disorder, political agitation, and ineffective governance in recent years, the Republic has lost the support of the people and the state news agencies now report a successor to Nicholas II has been crowned Tsar of the Russians. Romanovs are back. 
Kirill the first. <clears throat> Well, I can definitely say I have a newfound respect for uh, Grand uh, Mass Assault. Because Mass Assault is the reason I could build these templates. I am out of artillery. Interesting. There's just nothing they can do to stop us. The fall of Kiev. Bad news for the Kingdom of Ukraine. Ukraine today as the Bulgarian army has just completed its assault upon the ancient capital. While initial reports suggested the Ukrainian defenders would be able to hold them at the bridges in a protected siege, the many avenues over the river proved too much to hold. With Bulgarian troops on either side of the river and scattered defenders surrendering on the isles, Kiev has fallen to the defenders. We've lost a thousand. 1,500 for almost 900,000. And once we kill off these cutoffs, it's going to be even more. Like there are 893 right now. Oh, there's only actually two divisions left there. Oh no, there they are. 29 divisions. One million. One point six thousand for six hundred and sixty thousand. Fortunately, I'm not sure that I'm going to get the credit for this. 66 divisions! Whoa, okay. 1.2 million so far. We are in the fight now. Am I going to leave anything living in the Ukraine? Apparently not. Dead. 1.9 million. That was like 700,000 men in that pocket. And yes. Did I get credit? No, I didn't. Prussia got the credit. This is why I didn't like that multiplayer challenge. Because even if you do all of the damage, you don't get the credit. <laughs> Take back what I said, these aren't Bulgarian space marines, these are Bulgarian Adeptus Custodes. There was a single-player challenge at PDXCon to conquer Poland and France as Germany in 1939 start with minimum losses. I think someone did it for under a thousand losses. Yeah, someone did it for 400 and something. And Prussian Prince did it for zero. After PDXCon. Now that guy is way too good at this game. Puppy Ukraine for the manpower. I mean, if I was playing this optimally, I should, but I'm not playing this optimally. <laughs> and that's without paratroopers, by the way. How? Uh, armor. So the way that they found to do it 
is any time that an enemy unit attacks one of yours, you delete that unit so it takes no casualties, unless they're attacking an armored unit, in which case they can't penetrate the armor. Because no AT. And then you just do all the damage with light tanks. Ninety percent participation. Yeah, I'm taking the whole of Ukraine. It's mine. These guys are almost actually at full strength. I didn't think they'd have the manpower to make it all the way, but apparently they almost do. Plus, I am generating almost 3,000 manpower a month now. Well, the Ukraine still has... 800,000 at extensive. Like, Ukraine's fine for manpower. And that's good, because these are huge states, so even though it's uh, non-core, I'll still get a bunch of manpower from all of this. And if I, it came down to it, then yes, I could release a bunch of puppets and then use them instead. <laughs> Russia should be next. Can't have two green countries next to one another. Uh, Russia I'm far less worried about than I am about the Third International. They'll probably be next. Maybe Poland, seeing as they're independent. Raiding party! Mouse Gunner, thank you very much for the raid. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to all the raiders. Right, so I do have a focus, so let's go and get the light cruisers. Equipped with protective armor, light cruisers allow for the protection of our convoys and serve as destroyer command ships. We must look to invest more in these ships. And there we go, zero manpower again. We're at the 14.1%, so I don't think we're going to get any more. Why don't I micro this? It'll be quicker, because I don't want to lose the planning preparation. And also, I don't think my troops really need my help. I've still only lost 1.9 thousand men and have killed 1.1 million. So, 1,000 to 1. You wanted it. We've done it. Oh, you're playing Battletech. Of course you are. <laughs> and we have got factories again. All 75 factories are now building heavy tanks. I don't know what else I want to make. Oh, artillery. Yeah, we need more artillery. So let's set up another full line of that, and then we need to buy in more steel. Does anyone have steel for me to buy? Wallonia, you do. Thank you. And Norway does. That'll do. There we go. 2,000 losses. Oh no, sorry, that is 500,000. I keep looking at the 2.2 million, forgetting that Prussia stole a bunch. Though it is 500 to 1, it's not that one. And they are using quite a lot of fuel. So I probably will need to upgrade my fuel refining capabilities. Although we are about to take a bunch of fuel from the Ukraine here. Not nearly as much as Romania has, but still a good amount. Oh, right. We've reached that point again. Where I didn't have orders. My bad. There we are. You really will need more artillery when you replace it all with level 3s. True. Hmm. 
Okay, now we're starting to take a bunch of their victory points. In fact, let's get you lot going off to Sevastopol. Off you go. And there we go, we have a surplus of heavy tanks. We've now upgraded everything. Varangians and cataphracts. Very nice. Ninety-three percent participation. Yeah, I'm taking the whole of Ukraine. It's mine. If France wants to come fight me for it, <laughs> they're welcome to. I would welcome the opportunity. Can I reach 2.5 million kills before 2,500 deaths? Probably not, because I suspect the country will have capitulated before then. Although we are going to get a couple of them up here. over the straits. That's uh, fine. We'll take everything else. Field Hospital 3. There we go. We're going to take less casualties now. <laughs> As if we needed to. Uh, let's get recon so we can get a bit better attack. Gotta give the Ukraine credit, they're holding a long time. Three months so far. Develop the Varna naval base. It is paramount that we place an emphasis on naval warfare and develop the Varna, Varna naval base. That way we can ensure that our nation is better prepared in the face of potential naval warfare, while also having the ability to house more ships. Yeah, France is doing nothing, we cut them off. And there it is. Boom. Bulgaria took 23 states. Fourteen percent of eligible core population out of the 11 million population that Bulgaria has. And 0.28% of non-core population of the 115 million that we have. So I suspect that that's going to have increased the amount that we get. A fair amount. Okay, I think that next is going to be Poland. But it is entirely possible that Poland will try to join the Third International. So they are different ideologies, they may not. Anyway, more factories. More artillery, more close air support, more fighters. And more shipyards, interesting. In that case, I'm gonna say Let's build some submarines. And these submarines are going to be the... What are these? <laughs> okay. Constipated wizards. Oh, that's where the fuel tank goes. Never even knew. Interesting. Never even had to build fuel tanks. And there's another one. Huh. And then that's anti-air. Interesting. Never really looked at the 
the submarine upgrades too closely. Did France go off to Spain? Yes, it did. Paraguay is improving relations with Poland. That's nice. Need one more political power, then I can justify a war goal against Poland, apparently. Yeah, I didn't think that was true. We need a bit more. But I do want to get that justification going as quickly as possible. Oh, and now we're out of iron again. However, Russia can sell us a little bit more. And Sweden. And then rubber. Okay. So let's get the justification done against Poland and we'll go after them. But that will need to wait until next time. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this so far. If you are, be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live again in the future. If you're really enjoying this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out, lets me do more of this kind of content. But don't worry, I will be back again in about an hour. So we're going to start this again at 10.30pm British summertime this evening. And we shall see the fall of Poland and possibly, probably, a war against the Third International as well. So do come back for that. And we shall have some battles and wars and fightiness in general. And seeing as we were talking about Prussian Prince earlier, it turns out he is actually streaming right now. So we're going to go and raid, whoops, if I could type raid properly, the Prussian Prince. So head on over there, tell him how awesome his ridiculous skill levels at Hearts of Iron are uh, because he really is absolutely fantabulistic at this game. So if you want to learn how to play this properly, watch him. If you want to see Kaiserreich and all the craziness I do in Kaiserreich, watch me. That's kind of the difference, but he tends to do vanilla and he tends to do multiplayer. Um, so head over there, say hello from Mordred Viking, throw in a couple of the Viking raids! Just like I'm about to post. Just like that. I want to see his chat lit up with those. Thank you everyone for watching. I will catch you guys in about an hour. I'll see you then. Goodbye.